complete this one now maximum height then keep adding horizontal range so we all knows that horizontal range means what is the symbol all of you so horizontal range will represent with the r r okay so r formula is all of you remember r having two formulas so one is r is equals to u square sin 2 theta okay divided by g r in trigonometry always remember sin 2 theta formula is 2 sin theta cos theta what is the formula sin 2 theta means 2 sin theta cos theta so r another formula r you can write u square in square instead of sin 2 theta what i can write everybody 2 u sin, sin theta, theta cos theta so divided by g so these are the two formulas for two formulas for what r r clear that is what it is any doubt anybody can ask clear all of you so here yes. yeah so this is what about it now let us go for the derivation so again same thing so let me consider the ball is uh, thrown projectile motion and it has been reached. Again, this is called as ground to ground. So this is only used to called as R. Am I right or wrong? Everybody? All of you? Yes, sir. So it is R. So let me take now two components. It has been projected with some angle. That is what initial velocity U. So with X axis, what we used to call? So that theta. So we all know X axis, what is that? U X is equals to. All of you? u cos theta and y axis what is that called as u y is equals to u sin theta and remember this u you should write always here is it okay outside you should not write understand ra yes, yes. okay now let me find the derivation now so observe very carefully how to find the horizontal range we have to learn the derivation so let us see that horizontal means we have to consider x axis or y axis are. that is what my first horizontal range x axis or x y axis x axis so u x is equals to what is that raw u cos theta u and as we all know that u is always remains constant in x axis so a x acceleration in x direction how much zero, zero. and the distance traveled from here to here, that is what displacement we can say. Displacement means what? Shortest distance between the initial point and final point. Am I right, everybody? Yes, sir. Yes. yes Shortest sir. distance between initial and final point. So that is only, what is that? Initial and final point. This is the initial point and this is the final point. What is that called as? We used to assume as a what? That is what. So, displacement in x axis, how much ra, which is equals to r. Mm -hmm. Already I have, to, I have taught you this. Yes or no? Displacement in y axis is 0 and displacement in x axis is what, guys? r. Okay. So, these are the two formulas for uh, r, horizontal range. Manya, can you hear me? Samaya? Nothing. So, that's all. You can apply the formula. Now, we all know the formula. So, let me consider total time is equals to capital T. So, what is that formula? Time of flight. T is equals to 2u sin theta, theta by, by g. g. Why guys? Because we all know time taken from initial to final point is capital T. Am I right or wrong? Total time. Yes, sir. Yes. That is only which to call it as what? Time of flight. Time of flight. Clear? Time of flight. So, we know time and displacement. So, which equation will apply? Everybody. Second equation, ut plus half, it is it is right? So, as it is, acceleration is zero. So, second term fully, it will become zero. Am I right? Everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, that is what. So, displacement, S is equals to what? R. We all know that. So, R is equals to initial velocity, U cos theta. And the time is equals to what? Tell me. 2U. Sin theta by by g am i right everybody yes, yes that is what now so r is equals to we all knows that u into u what will come u square u square 2 and here cos theta cos theta, cos theta, theta by g, theta. By g. g. correct all of you just now i have taught you trigonometry formula so 2 sin theta cos theta which is equals to what everybody 
sin 2 sin d. 2 theta so already we got this formula this is only second formula have you verified it everybody yes sir yes sir yes. that is what okay so or else i want if i want to write this one i can write this also that is also correct only understand ra pradosh sometimes we'll write like this also which one u cos 2 into u cos theta into u sin theta is it right or wrong everyone that is also yes, correct yes yeah that is also it is necessary so we'll write r is equal to what is the formula u square sin 2 theta divided by what all of you z so these are the two formulas for horizontal range anyone having any doubt you can ask me are you clear everybody all of you yes sir yeah yes, sir. what uh, yes. about it three terms very very important what is the three terms so time uh, sorry that what is that flight flight time I next one is what time of flight second one is what maximum height and third one is what horizontal range clear range three things you, you should remember that so time time of flight horizontal range and sorry maximum height and horizontal range so what is the time of flight formula everybody 2u sin theta by g maximum height what is the formula u square sin square theta by 2z and range formula everybody U square, u square sin u 2 theta, theta that is why don't get confused here sin square theta and here what sin 2, 2 theta. theta so these are the three formulas which you all should learn in projectile motion first one is time of flight and second one is what maximum height and third one is horizontal range clear everybody any doubt anyone yeah. can so these are the three formulas so derive it fastly Time of, uh, sorry, horizontal range, find it everywhere. Understood? Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Once it is completed, let me know. Clear? Okay. Now, question number one. Is it completed initially? Sai Yes, sir. No. Question number one. A ball is thrown with five meter per second. A ball is thrown with a 5 meter per second at angle of projection, angle of projection 37 degrees. Okay. Next, find time of flight, maximum height and horizontal range. So, these are the three things we have to find it. Okay. So, we all know very popularly, so it is thrown with a 37 angle. So, means in the sense of, you consider x-axis and y-axis. See that, it is it is thrown with a, like this. Am I right, Pradosh? It has been thrown like this. So, what is the angle here they mentioned? 37. Means, 37. This triangle. 37 triangle, what is the popular triangle? 3, 4. Yes? 3, 4, this is the 3, 4. 4. And this is the 3, and this is the what? 5. 5. Okay, partners. Please make it now. Y, y component and x component. All of you do it fast. Make it quick now, everybody. All of you. Yeah. So we all know. Then what is the angle here? Yes. Thirty-seven angle. degree. Thirty-seven degrees. Clear. So now. If it is another triangle, also very popular triangle, we all know that. If here is the 4 and here is the 3, so this is opposite side and this is adjacent side or base, we can, sorry, base. So then hypotenuse will become 5. By the time here, what is the angle? All of you? 53 degrees. We are all familiar with that. Am I right, everybody? So that's all it is. Yeah. Now, first time of flight. 
so time of flight they are asking then maximum height they are asking okay and then total range also so horizontal range also let us find first time of flight what is the time of flight formula you should tell me fastly time of flight u sin theta by g sin theta divided by z okay g. that is what so 2 into okay next u initial velocity what is the formula initial velocity we know they have given they have already given it has been thrown with the what u 5 meter per second 5 meter per second sin theta so sin how much ra sin theta means 37 correct or not divided by g value how much g value we all knows that what is the g value everybody g value 10 okay. yeah 10 10 you take always okay rudreswa okay sir yeah 10 you take it so now what will happen 5 ones are 5 twos are and 2 ones are 2 ones are will get cancelled so finally answer how much sign okay so sign 37 means we all knows the values apply the triangle 37 angle so sign theta formula tell me sign means what opposite by hypotenuse hypotenuse so 3 by 5 so what is the answer sign 35 so we can find it that is the answer clear yes yes, sir. yes that is what is so sine 37 is equals to 3 by 5 so that is only answer so the total time period capital t horizontal time is equals to 3 by 5 okay guys yes sir yes sir next so t equals to 3 by 5 seconds okay guys next maximum height what is the maximum height formula u square u square, square. sin square yeah. theta divided by 2g 2g okay so initial velocity 5 square into sin theta let me write this one as a sin theta whole square am i write it or not so sin 37 whole square divided by 2 into g value how much 10 10 do it fast Am I correct, everybody? Yes, Rudreswa. What happened? Okay. Yes, so then substitute the values fastly. Yes. So how much? 5 square means how much? 25. 5 square means? 25. 25. Okay, then sine 37. A square means can write as a, a into A. I can write as A into A. Same way sine 37 whole square means can I write as A. What is the value? 30 by 37 value. 3, 3 by 5. 5 whole square. 3 by 5. Am I right? Everybody right. clear? Divided yes, by sir. Yes, sir. 2 into 10. Then we can make it everything like you can see 25 into 3 into 3 into. Understanding this will reverse. What will happen? 5 into 5 into 2 into 10. Am I right, everybody? Yes, That's all. Yes, sir. 5, 5, 5 is 5 and 5 will get cancelled. Next, how much it will come? Answer divided by 2 into 10 is 20. So, maximum height attained by the body, everybody? 9 by, 9, by 20. 9 by 20. 9 by 20 meters. That is all. Understood? All of you? Next. They are saying R. R we have to find it. So R means what? Horizontal range. So what is the formula? Horizontal range. All of you respond. So U square sine 2 theta, 2 theta divided by 2z. So R else I can write another formula. What is the formula? U square sin theta oh. sin theta cos theta divided by sorry i have written 2z 2 is 2z is not it is it is g g Am I correct yes or no yes. Hello, that is what so that is you have to remember so g so g value will take it so substitute the answers fastly everybody you can make it the same triangle you can so first so 37 correct 37 means here 4 here 3 and here 37 so here 5. So sin, sin 37 is equals to 3 by 5. And cos 37 is equals to what? All of you. 4 by 5. Okay. So initial velocity is 5 square into 2 into sin theta. How much ra? 3 by 5 into cos theta. How much ra? Cos theta. Oh, cos 37. Cos 37 how much ra value? 4 by, 4 by 5. Okay. So divided by G value how much? G value is equals to 10. Okay. That is what you have to remember it. Any doubt? Anyone can ask me. 
So now you can solve it, which will come like a five square means. Can I write as a five into five into two into this one? I can write as a what? Three, into... three by five into four by five into one by ten. Am I right? So five five yes, will sir. get cancelled. Five five will get cancelled. Next two ones are two fives are. So which is equal so much? Twelve by five. Twelve by five. That's all. Do it fast. Okay, guys. Yes, sir. Yeah. Any doubt? Anybody can ask. Clear? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. This is the third part. Now, continuation. Fourth part. Express the initial and final velocity in vector. Vector means we all know. So we have to express how. Velocity or speed up. Velocity and speed up. We have to express in vector. Velocity. Velocity. And velocity in vector. So vector means we all people know. So we have to represent how. Along with the magnitude, we have to come what? Direction also. Am I right Direction. or wrong? That is what. So now they are asking, express initial and final velocities in vector. So as the ball is thrown with what angle? Everybody. If the ball is thrown with what? 27 degrees. And reaches to somewhere point. And here, so as we know here, as we all know that, Y component will act downward direction, upward direction. Everybody. Downward direction. So that is what? 5 sin 37. So here 5 sin 37 means. What is the initial velocity? Everybody. Y direction. 5 into 3 by 5. So 5, 5 will get cancelled. So here what is the velocity? Everybody. 3 meter per second. Okay. And the x-axis, we all know that projectile motion, uh, uh, ux is always remains what? Remains what? Constant. Constant. Understanding? So at maximum height, vy will become what? Everybody. Yeah. Everybody respond to zero. So now, 5 into cos 37. So if you notice it, here also x-axis will act like that only. So here also, ux equals how much it will come? 5 into 4 by 5. 5, 5 will get cancelled. What is the answer? Four. 4. 4. So, 4 and here y axis it is downwards. So downwards means what? Plus or minus or? Uh, minus. minus. 3, 3 meter per second downwards. So so what is the velocity represent? Velocity v is equal to first initial velocity tell me. What is the initial velocity represent? Initial velocity both are positive. So initial velocity what will come? 4 i cap plus 3 j cap. I cap plus 3 j cap. Clear? But now final velocity, the velocity which will touch the ground. Respond, everybody. So as it is, what is the magnitude? Velocity, initial velocity given, u is equals to 5 meter per second. That is what we have taken. So if it is, yeah, then what is the final velocity, everybody? V is equals to, this is still positive x-axis only. So positive x-axis. So what will happen? 4 i cap, but this is minus y. Minus y direction. So what will happen? Minus 3j. 3j. That is what the question. So express initial and final velocities in vector form. So is it possible, Pradosh? Understand, Pradosh? Sai, yes, Sonia, Monia, understood or not? Everybody? Clear? Ishali? So this is how we have to solve yes, so initial velocity in vector form and final velocity in vector form. Solve it, everybody. Is there any doubt? Ra? No, sir. Once it is completed, let me know. So totally how many parts this question? Four parts. Keep it in mind. Express an initial velocity and final velocity in vector form. Okay. So have you all understand how to find? For example, they will ask us to find what is a Velocity, sorry, speed. So we, can we find the speed or not? How to find the speed from velocity? We all know that speed means what ra? magnitude of speed yes, area. Da. Last, last, we never solved. Da. How to find speed from velocity? Brothers? Root over. Ah, magnitude. Magnitude of velocity only what we used to call. Magnitude of velocity only we used to call mm -hmm. as speed. speed. Magnitude of velocity 
is only called as speed. So how to find it? If the velocity final velocity magnitude, so mod, mod over root of the x components, that is what what will come x x square, square. plus y square. y square. That is what. That is only speed. We never solved a, how many things we solved similar way. We solved it or not already? You should yes, know, sir. you cannot forget like this. Okay. So complete it. Any doubt in this? Ask me. Clear? Yes, sir. Next. So next question. Write it. A ball is thrown with 50 meter per second. A ball is thrown with 50 meter per second at angle of projection 37 degrees. Angle of projection what are angle of projection 37 degrees. Okay. Find velocity vector find velocity vector and speed of the particle and the speed of the particle after two seconds of projection. After two seconds of what? Two seconds of projection. projection. Yeah, that is what. So now again, same thing. So let me take now bodies here. We all know that it has been thrown with the velocity. Of course, I will draw. Let me draw the path. So this is the path. Finally, it will reach us. So we all know that this is called as what is to call everybody. R. R. Horizontal range. Horizontal range. And at this point, it will attain what? Everybody. Yes, please. Viva is equal to zero. That is only way to call as what? Maximum height. height. Clear? No. Now what they are asking, it has been thrown with the velocity or what is that velocity? 50 meter per second. Okay. Means that is what the resultant force. So means x axis what will happen? Like a same triangle. R is a, uh, that hypotenuse is 5. Means in the sense of here is the 37. Means here what will come? 4 and here what will come? 3. So but instead of 5 here, 50 is there. So means here what will come? X axis. Everybody, x axis what will come ra 40, 40. And axis what will come 30. That is what. So uy is equals to 30 and ux is equals to how much? 40. 40. Okay. Let me take that is what v or u, whatever is your choice. So vx is equals to 40 meter per second. So we all know somebody is constant throughout the motion. Who is that? Yes, please. X direction. Velocity. Yeah, x Velocity. direction x direction v is constant so that is only same so acceleration ax is equals to what everybody zero zero ax is equals to zero puriyama lm clear understood yes, sir. Yes, sir. then y direction so because always projectile motion means we will consider y direction x direction always you have to consider y direction so y, y direction, direction means if you have taken so what is the initial velocity ui is equals to how much 30. 30 acceleration is not zero which is equals to minus z which is equal to minus 10. 10 and they are asking what is the velocity after how many seconds everybody after two seconds two seconds so let me consider the after two seconds body is here so here also somebody is constant who is that initial velocity what is that everybody 40 meter per second and second. here also the velocity will be in what direction? Dress for y direction also. Yes or no? Yeah. So once it will reach us to the maximum height, final velocity is what? Zero. Okay. But they are asking what? Before reaching that maximum point, suppose they'll ask you what is the final velocity at the maximum height? What is the final velocity at maximum height? Everybody zero. is equals to zero. But they are asking at two seconds, what is the maximum velocity they are asking? So let us see that. So time is equals to what? We all know that. So time is equals to how many seconds? Two seconds. Two okay. Seconds. So now apply the which equation you can find for final velocity. Initial velocity, you know, time will know final velocity we want. So Vy is equals to at this point we want Vy. Is it okay, guys? Everybody? Understood? Yes, so which equation okay. we can apply? Vy is equals to everybody. 
V is equals to U plus half half A T A T. So V Y is equals to initial velocity is thirty. What Lakshya Rudreshwar is saying wrong. You are also saying wrong. Huh? So V Y is equals to thirty minus twenty. So what is the velocity after two seconds? Everybody. Ten meter per second. Understanding? So ten meter per second. So means in the sense of body reaches maximum height or not? Ah, body velocity is not zero. So that body is reaches to maximum height or not? Yes, please. Not Ma maximum. Yes. It's not reaches to maximum height. So that is why I have taken before. Are you clear, everybody? Yes. So at this yes. point they are asking velocity. So at that point, what is the velocity? Velocity will be in two directions. One is x-axis, another one is y-axis. Yeah, write the vector form now. We have to write in vector form. So both are in upward direction. So at this point, what is the velocity? Everybody respond. X-axis and y-axis. Tell me. X-axis is equals to how much ra? Forty i cap plus y-axis how much ra? Y-axis how much? Ten j. Cap. That is what you have to find. Now, well, last I found it. They are asking speed now. So just now I told you, if you want to find the speed, what you have to do? We have to find root the root over forty square plus. Of, yeah, root over magnitude of velocity. That is what root over forty square plus ten square. square. So which is equals to forty square means how much? Thousand six hundred. Thousand six hundred plus. Ten square means hundred, which is equals to one thousand seven hundred. So that is what root root over seventeen hundred is the speed of the ball. Is it okay, everybody? So if you want to find root seventeen hundred forty one point three meter per second, or else you can write approximately also. Nothing wrong in that. Clear, everybody? Understand, ma'am? Laksha, be very careful. Based upon the given data, which formula you should know, you have to find it. Unless you know that, you cannot find. Is it okay, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, second question. Solve this question. Any doubt? Even anyone ask me, then only I'll say the second question. Make it quick. Till here, finish it. So we found velocity and velocity and what speed? Am I right? Yes, sir. Hmm. Complete it fastly. One hour. Let me know. Let me know. Yes, sir. Okay. Second one is observe very carefully, all of you. Now, when the body is rising upwards, of course, it is in a projectile motion. Initially, the body is projected with what angle? Everybody. Yes, please. It is projected with what angle? All of you. 37 degrees. Am I correct? All of you. Now, here also, is it with the x-axis, is the angle is 37 degrees? That is what my question to you. That is what I want to know. Anybody? Is it will be the same angle, Pradosh? Definitely not. Correct? Ah, that is only the question number two. Okay. So, now, find the angle. So, as the ball is rises, at this point, as we know, after two seconds, time is equals to two seconds. We have been found that Vy is equals to 10 meter per second, but still Vx is equals to how much? Ra? Vx is equals to everybody 40. 40 meter per second. Now, okay. question number two is find this theta. That is what is the question. Shall we start now? All of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let us see that after two seconds, find theta. So that is only our question now. Find Theta after how many seconds? For those understand or not, respond for those. Can if you doubt yes, me, sir. ask me. So, first we all know theta. What is the first theta? Everyone. So, first theta is equals to what? 37 degrees. 37 degrees. Now you tell That's me only. if this theta and this theta will be same or different. Definitely it will be different. Not right? Different. That is what. So let us see how to find theta here. 
So we all know, let us imagine that is the, there I will draw the triangle. This is the VY and this is the VX. So what is the formula? Theta is equals to tan theta is equals to, what is the formula? VY divided by VX. Because what is the tan formula? Perpendicular divided by? Base. Perpendicular divided base. by base. So perpendicular V at VY only. Am I right? And base is VX. So 10 by 40. So 10 by 40 means what? 1 by 4. So four. tan theta is equals to 1 by 4. And theta is equals to what? Tan, tan inverse of 1 by 4. That's all theta. Clear? Understand how to find? All of you? That is what you have to do. Okay. Next. Yes, sir. Next. Third subdivision. Find the displacement. Displacement vector. And displacement after two seconds of projection. Find the displacement of displacement vector and displacement. So displacement vector, we have to find it. And if you do the square root, we'll get what? We all know that. All of you. Displacement yeah. after two seconds. Displacement after two seconds of projection. So let's start now. All of you? Yes, sir. Yeah. So first. So as we all know that displacement vector they are asking. So we have to find only x direction or both y direction also. Everyone? Yes, x please. and y. X and y direction. Because the body is traveling in x axis and as well as y axis. Am I right? After two seconds. Correct or not? Yes, sir. All of you? So that is what? So let us see how to find it. Now. So that is only. So the body is. Uh, let me take here. The body is. Uh, kept with the theta that is what theta and has been projected with that so y axis we all knows that here so vy what is the answer vy initially 30 and vx initially how much 40 40 this is 50 so now it has been gone it reaches to the maximum height maximum height and it is came back now so that is the final point. So the total displacement is what? Displacement is that is what we used to call as. What is that? R. R. Okay. So that is what. So first write in x direction. So x direction, tell me everybody what will happen? X direction, initial velocity, ux is equals to 40 meter per second. U, vx or ux or whatever it is. Now what is the acceleration in x axis? We all know. So always equals to? Zero. And time is equal to how many seconds? Two. It's equals to two seconds. Okay. Then apply which equation? S equals to ut plus half a. Half a. This full term will go because a is equals to what? Zero. Zero. S is equals to initial velocity is 40, time is 2. So that S is equal to how much? Ra? X direction. 80 meter. Yeah. X direction. X is equals to how much everybody? 80 meters. Okay. So that is what? X equals to how much? All of you? 80 meters. Next. 80. Y direction. Do you all able to solve it or not? All of you? So Y direction we know. So what is the initial velocity? Uy is equals to R. Vy is equals to how much? 30. We all know that Y direction. What is the acceleration? Always, uh, always against to gravity. So which is equals to minus, minus 10. 10. So time is equal to how many seconds? Time is equals seconds. to 2 seconds. Two. So, and we all know that dis displacement is equals to y. So which equation will apply? S equals to everybody. Ut plus half a t square. So find it. V is equals to initial velocity is 30. Time is equals to 2. Half into a value minus 10. And again 2 square. So which is equals to 32 is 60 minus 5 4 is so, y-axis, how much is the answer? 60 minus 40, sorry, 60 minus 20. So, which is equal to how much? Ra? 40. Yes, 40 meters. Understood, Amma? Everybody? Yes, yeah. sir, no. Now, vector, they are asking displacement vector. So, vector means both x-axis and y-axis are only x-axis. Everybody? Both x-axis and y-axis. Okay? So, that is what it is, display vector. Now they are asking displacement. So R is equals to what will happen? 
ஓகேவா Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Do it fast. Till here you solve it. Any doubt anyone can ask. X-axis and Y-axis. Have you understand? Samaya, Sai Karthik, Pradosh, Isali. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do it, do it. See, if you are understand, if you understand very well, this will be the, like what we can say, it will go very smoothly. If not, physics will become very burden. your seniors are now actually keep on calling me now also i am taking the class one one of your senior is calling i want to speak with you regarding physics sir so that's what is the situation so lot of strategy like we can say you know tra i don't know what to say also so many things are happening in 11 and 12 nothing is going properly so we have to be very careful ourselves we have to be very sincere and study if you are jolly like 10th class uh, nothing is going to work out i am really saying of course i know that few of you are very studying well but remaining i don't know what they are doing i want to see, see that once i'll uh, make it okay till here anything doubt you can ask me is it completed let me know or else we'll proceed for okay this question completed can you all able to understand when, uh, when i'm teaching everyone pradosh yes sir yes sir just yes, sir. very important prosh uh, so that's why you have to each and everything you have to know okay, whether something is not there it cannot be so this is what it is next next question solve this question once it is over next question for a projectile motion so now we are studying only one thing what is that projectile motion ground to ground okay so projectile motion for a projectile motion from ground to ground from what is that ground to ground h is equals to r means maximum height is equals to horizontal range then find the angle of projection then find the angle of projection okay so let me see i am giving uh, like 2 minutes time at least idea can you tell me what is the idea possibility is very simple we know the formula of maximum height we know the formula of max uh, horizontal range you cannot find out yes please how to solve ra you know the formulas they are saying that h is equals to r so what is what we can do brothers if two things are equal means what we can do we'll just simply we'll equate the formulas that's all correct yes yes sir and then you should pass and find the theta meeting is going to end join quickly and we'll proceed make it fast anybody having idea have solved okay let it be we will we'll solve it you try 